Robert Lewis Howard, American, patriot. He joins the ages in passing, and he leaves a legacy of honor, courage, and love of country. I was born in a little small city in Alabama, Opelika, Alabama. He stood among many who love this country, but few have devoted themselves in service to the United States more ardently than Colonel Howard, one of the most highly decorated soldiers our nation has ever produced. That man has eight Purple Hearts, he's fought in 52 battles, and he's been nominated three times for the Medal of Honor. I don't deserve to be on the stage with that man. Following the paths of his father and uncle, both paratroopers during World War II, Howard joined the Army as an enlisted man when he was 17 in 1956, rising to the grade of Sergeant First Class. Always challenging himself, he joined the Army's Green Berets before closing his 36-year military career, and during his five tours over 54 months in Vietnam, he was wounded 14 times in eight actions, earning a Purple Heart in each of those actions. And I can remember seeing red and, and, and saying a prayer, hoping I wasn't blind, I couldn't see. In one 13-month tour, he was nominated for the Medal of Honor for three separate actions and received the Distinguished Service Cross and the Silver Star. I have been killed more than at least six times in my life. I thought I was killed, but I wasn't killed. He received the Medal of Honor for bravery during a rescue mission for crawling through heavy fire, unable to walk because of his injuries, and weaponless to rescue his wounded platoon leader, and for rallying his comrades into an organized defensive force. And so I said, we're going to establish a perimeter right here and you're going to fight or die. He was the last man to board the rescue helicopter. He retired from the military a full colonel, but continued to devote himself to the nation, making more than a dozen trips to visit our troops in Iraq. Colonel Howard spoke about his life in his last interview, conducted by TriWest just two months before his death. I've never seen a human being in the process of dying that didn't appreciate life. But you have to serve something that you love. And if you don't serve it, well, then you don't love it. I love America. I love all people in America. And so that's how I try to live my life.